Hi there, budgie peeps. How are we doing? How are we doing? We have had a little win uh, from the bingo. So we'll be stuffing that in our 100 envelope challenge shortly. But today we're here to do our check-in first. So let's have a look what went on last week or this week <laughs> even. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a, a fantastic week. Let's have a look. We le left you last week on the 11th of July and we went to the free bingo. Well, I did. Hubby didn't. Um, didn't win, which was a shame. The next day we had our car insurance come out of the bank for £24.75 and we went shopping and we had a £60 budget and spent £56.11. pence. Fuel hubby spent £25 in fuel. The next day, um, I that evening rather, I had a birthday, but I actually, I spent the money sort of like there, but I didn't have any room, so I've written it in here. I had a birthday to go to, a friend's birthday, and I spent £5.86, bought her a nice mug and filled it with some um, Celebrations hot chocolate selection which was lovely because she loves hot chocolate and I haven't seen the celebrations hot chocolate selection ever before but they're selling it at home bargains for about three pounds something so all in all it was only five pound 86 for that little gift then hubby and I went to the three pound bingo so that cost us six pound altogether and we won 25 pounds and we shared it which is this 25 pound envelope here so he had £12.50 and so did I. So we'll stuff that shortly. So that's the £12.50 we've got written down there. We then on the Sunday went off to buy a new washing machine, which we used our 100 envelope challenge. Sorry, we didn't. We used our, <laughs> we used our money tree cash stuffing to buy the washing machine. We'd saved up £250. And I also put away 30 extra pounds this month in um, home maintenance because I had a feeling there would be a delivery charge or some kind of charge in relation to the washing machine. So we went to get the washing machine and although we only had 280 pounds, which was what I saw it as, it was 279 when we got there, we realised that the £299 washing machine was a better deal because it went from a D energy rating to a B energy rating for an extra 20 quid. So I was like, yeah, we'll do that. Plus it was a seven kilogram load to a nine kilogram load. So that's better for us as well. Um, it means we can do less frequent washes because we can do a bigger load. Delivery on that, save hubby, hubby stuffing it in the back of the van, was £10. So I was like, for a tenner, let them just deliver it. So that's what they did. And they said, for £30, we'll install it for you as well and, and test it, make sure it's all working before we leave. So I was like, you know what? I can't grumble at that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So that's what we spent there. And we also spent another £5 which is per month, but they took out the first payment of £5, which I'll write in there, um, to pay for the insurance um, on it, um, which covers it for breakdowns. And if they can't repair it within seven days, they give you a uh, they give you a new one, apparently, or give you the money back to buy a new one or whatever it is. But yeah, so I took out the insurance policy, which is £5 a month. So they took out the first £5 there. So happy days. Um, that washing machine's actually been delivered today. And here's a picture. I'm so happy. Yay. <laughs> We're on Thursday the 18th today. So going back to Tuesday the 15th, I'll just mark off these numbers on here because we've done those. Tuesday the 15th, we both went to bingo for the £2 bingo, me and hubby. And we both had a £2 meal because they do £2 bingo with a £2 meal. So that was £4 for the bingo and £4 for the meal. So that was good. The next day on, I didn't win, neither did hubby. So close, so many ones. <laughs> so the next day on the 16th, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and try my luck again. So £3 is the bingo on the 16th. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to go and give it a go. It's my spending money. So yeah, let's just do it. Didn't win. <laughs> again <laughs> so frustrating so anyway during the day i went to home home bargains twice to buy snacks for the bingo 
and drinks for the bingo um, because sometimes when I order the food there I can't eat the whole lot so I was visiting people as well that day visiting mom she's now in a um, she's healing well she's been very very poorly um, she's now in a um, respite home for a, a little while to recover from her injuries so bought some snacks to take with me while I was visiting so I spent £6.11 in, on the one lot of snacks and £4.12 on the other lot of snacks so eating out that day visiting etc the next day um, we did did we stuff our cash envelopes? I think we stuffed our cash envelopes on the Sunday. So I'm going to mark them off because I did them early. And tonight, da -da -da, lo and behold, I've got free bingo again. Hubby said, oh, I don't want to go. So he said he's going to come with me on Saturday, though. Um, so looking forward to that. Friday, we're actually going to the pictures together. And I've got what's called a CEA card. I don't know whether you've ever heard of them. Um, you can look them up on the internet, but if you've got a disability um, and you claim claim a certain disability benefit, you can apply for a CEA card, which enables somebody to come with you to the pictures for free. So basically they're caring for you while you're at the pictures, which is something I desperately need. Um, last time I was at the pictures, my right leg decided to stop working. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just like oh dear <laughs> it was an absolute chaos because people were trying to get out of the pictures from behind me a good job there weren't a fire because I was blocking the whole aisle <laughs> so yeah not good they'd have had to carry me out wouldn't they <laughs> so that's why I need somebody at the pictures with me so we're going to the pictures together Friday to watch Twister and Sunday he's taking me to see Despicable Me in is it Despicable Me? Despicable Me four in three D. So I'm dead excited for that one. I can't wait. So that's what's going on. That's what we've been up to. So let's get on with unstuffing our wallet. And so, oh, I've lost my page now. Get on with unstuffing our wallet and see what we've got left over. I've been chatting a while, haven't I? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> let's do it. Let's get to uh, let's get to the money, 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 money. Where are you? I'm losing my nail. I've got my new nails on today. And you watch one will pop off before the end of the, before the end of the cash stuffing because I am so not used to wearing. I think this one's coming off. So not used to wearing them anymore. It's been a while. Right. Let's do this. Let's see what we've got left over. So this is from mine and hubby's allowances. Uh, we've got one pounds. I can't do anything in these nails now. Two pounds. What am I like? Two pounds. Stay there. Two, four, six, eight, three pounds. Two, four, six, eight, four pounds. Two, four, five, two, four, six. 56 isn't it, it says one two three four pound 56 is what we've got left over in um change so the 20 piece as usual go into our monopoly challenge because as you know i want to go to the live monopoly in london in september for my birthday so let's bring that over and pop them in our top hat all they on they're all gone hang on a second right then the five pences the whole bottoms just fell out again i seriously need a sticker to stick that in properly the five pences which is one here oh it's rolling away one and one that's dropped out there you can go in the 5p um doggy then let me zoom you out right then we've got 10 20 20 30 40 50 60 2 4 6 8 71 pence to go into our penny challenge which is well heavy let's see if we've got 71 available which we have no nope, 
Come on, pen. There you go, 71. This challenge is by the Scouse Girl Budgets. Check out her channel and her Etsy, Etsy shop. Nice lady. Let's chuck all that in there. Oh, slowing me down these nails are, aren't they? <laughs> the hair attached to that, hang on. Pick up those two pennies. In they go. I'm going to have to change some of this up, I think, because it is getting too heavy and weightful. I'll um, pop that to one side in a minute. So we've got two 50p's for the, oh, this is getting heavy, for the 50p challenge going in there. And a pound for show me the money, honey going in there so there we are look show me the money honey so we're going to fill those two trackers in oh, let's get the book down Ta -da. i have managed to make some um what are they going bookmarks so i can find my challenges which helps an awful lot so we had 250p's oh, dropping the pen 250p's in the 50p challenge so we've done three jars already. So that's one, two, three jars we've filled in. And now we're working on this jar. So let's colour those 250p's in. So that's 75, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84 pounds there should be in that tin currently. Now, I did say I would sort this out for next week. Here's my show me the money honey jar. Um, bear with me. There we go. I said I'd run, rub out the two splatted spiders. Um, and colour, oh, that's slightly uncommon and coloured. And I would colour them in properly. So I'm going to do that now. My two splatted spiders have now gone. <laughs> Oh, so unprofessional that was, isn't it? Eh? There we go. It's gone. So we put one um, one pound coin in the jar this week. So we'll colour this one in here. I'm surprised now quickly these things fill up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six pounds in there now. So keep going. That's done. That's all that change taken care of. Da -da. What have we got next? We have got groceries next. Let's pull out what we've got left. Now, we didn't stuff Percy last week. We took the whole £60 to the shops. And I'm going to show you my... Um, <laughs> my shopping came to £64.11. But when they took off the um, multi-buy savings, it came down to £60.11. And I thought, I can't be over budget. I just can't be. I'm not having it. So I was in Asda's and I looked at my cash pot and I had a rewards voucher, a cash pot voucher for four pounds. That I Well, it was four pounds in my cash pot, so I changed it into a voucher, which they took that off the 60 pounds, which gave me change of three pounds 89. Call it cheat and I don't care. It's still a result for me. <laughs> I've still got three pounds 89 to put in to the um christmas binder so let me just get that and like magic it appears <laughs> so three pounds 89 um this is our hamper we're saving up for a hamper uh trying to get 250 pounds worth of savings and we are currently 60 at uh, 40 50 60 pounds away so let's see if we can make up another five pounds with the change that we've got. I don't think we can, but we'll have a look. Might be able to. Let's have a new see. So uh, one, two, three, four, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. <gasps> look at that. Pound, five pounds and we've still got change happy days bear with me i want to change this into a five pound note and just like magic we've got a five pound note i put the change that we had back in the food pouch so let's find um our spare five pounds here it is right at the front happy days so pop that in there Ta -da! and then we can cross off this five pound note Ta -da! done 
So now all we need to finish this challenge is 40, 55 pounds. Happy days. 55 pound away from finishing that. Can't be bad. That's brilliant. Right then, let's carry on with the cash stuff in what I've got next. We've done the groceries. Um, pets. We've got nothing in pets. In fact, we went 94p over. So we will be taking that out of Magic the Cat. So, yeah, I'll put an extra £10 in here this week as well from Magic the Cat to ensure that we don't go over. So, I oh, a hubby who borrowed it to me, 94p. <laughs> I'm sure he won't chase me down for it. Transport, we've got £4 left in transport, which is still not enough to do our Roll It Up Challenge. So, da -da 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 -da. What am I going to do? Mm. I'm going to put it in the £100 savings challenge. So that's for our uh, trip next year to go on a helicopter ride. So all the whole £4, one, two, three, four pounds is going in there. And we're going to cross off another four. So that's one, two, three, four. So now we've got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 pounds left in, uh, sorry, already in our helicopter uh, 100 pound savings challenge. So we're hoping to save that up by June. Right then, going forwards, we have got nothing left in the other envelopes. We, As I said, we did have a very, very spendy um, shopping section this week, which I've had to use a tracker for to keep track of it all. 299 on the washing machine when we had 250 pound that we'd saved which left us overdrawn by 49 pounds well not overdrawn um we took it out of our buffer one our 100 pound buffer delivery was 10 pounds um installation was 30 pounds which made us minus 89 pounds insurance on the washing machine was five pounds which made us nine minus 94 pounds then I had the birthday, minus £99.86. Now it's getting desperate. But I put these money in. I, I put these monies in before I took this money out so it didn't go over what I had as a buffer. So home bargains where I bought, purchased those things to eat was £6.11. Home bargains, again, items to eat, £4.12. Um, I put £30 in from home maintenance and £5 in from... Um, birthday envelope which now means we're minus 75 pounds 18 into our buffer so what i'm going to do with that is when hubby gets paid next month rather than take it out the emergency fund and just put it straight back in when he gets paid next month i will in, i will add this into our budget to pay this back to our buffer so that's how i'm going to handle that 75 pounds overspend so yes um yeah, it, I, could, I couldn't have foreseen that I was going to spend that much extra. I allowed £30 for the delivery, but I didn't allow £49.59 there for the... Um, and also that £59, so £64 for the extra money spent on the washing machine. So that's £64 of that £75 overspend. So it needed to be done, so it's been done. So that is it for our unstuffing for this week. I'm going to move that wallet out of the way and I'm going to come to our putting this money. This is the best bit. <laughs> putting the money in the challenge. Yay. So happy days. So we've got £12.50 to stuff. I already started the £6 envelope. So let's tip this money out. There we go. Oh, I'm missing a pound. Oh, there it is. There we go, £12.50. I'm going to put that envelope with my other ones. Put that up. In there. Ta -da. I also had one up there, didn't I? Hang on a second. Oh, there we go. That was from last week. In there. Right, that was when I shared that £10 with my husband and we had £5 each. Right, so I've already started the £6 envelope with that fiver from last week. 
So I'm going to put a pound in there. I can open the envelope. There we go. So that finishes the six pound envelope. Then I've got eleven pound fifty. Hmm, where am I going to put this? Uh, eleven pounds I've already done. Hmm. No. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'll start the twelve pounds one and I'll owe it fifty p. <laughs> That's the only way I can do it. So I won't mark off the £12 one on the planner yet, on the tracker, because I still owe it 50p. But I will mark off the £6 one because I finished that one. So happy days. So there we go. That's gone in there. So let's get back to the tracker and we can mark off the £6 one. So let me just get my pen. There we go. Oh, I'll never get the lids off. So let's colour that in. £6 done. Happy days. This is coming along nicely, isn't it? Considering it only consists of bingo wins. <laughs> the £12, I want to start it, but I'm going to leave the little tip because I've not... I still owe it 50p. So, there you go. Colour that in. I suppose it's quite easy to do the, the ones at the front, you know, the beginning ones, because they're lower numbers. It's as you get down the bottom, it's going to get harder. Um, maybe I'll consolidate those and move them down and then do the ones at the top again to make it more um, interesting for me, because otherwise I'll be striving, <laughs> striving to get these filled in. So that's it. That's cash stuff now. And we're going to keep going until we fill it all up which would be lovely so that is it that is the check-in the cash and stuffing and the stuffing of the 100 envelope challenge all done join me again tomorrow when we restuff the wallet for next week <laughs> until then thank you so much for watching and i'll say ciao for now <laughs>